can you still be a probation officer without a degree? Well, this video is for you because I'm gonna tell you exactly how you can be a probation officer without having a degree. First thing that I want you to listen to is think about your mindset. So what is your inner voice telling you? Because I know for a fact, when you haven't got a degree, it is very easy to compare yourself to people that have a degree and say, well, I'm not as good as them, or well, my family's not as rich as them, so I couldn't go, or I wasn't clever enough, I'm not intelligent enough, I'm not academic, I'm not a book person, blah, blah, blah. Do not let that stop you because you are the only one limiting yourself. Stop with those thoughts that you're not good enough because you haven't got a degree. You have different sets of skills, you've got completely different life circumstances. You know, not everybody has the opportunity and not everybody wants to go to university. And many people go later on in their life. First thing is, do not let that limit you and damage your thinking for what you can do and what you can actually achieve. That brings me to the second thing, you're probably thinking, well, is there even enough time to now change career or consider a new career? And my answer to you is yes, there is always, always time. So many probation officers that I worked with started out in a different profession, landed a job in probation, however they got there. Then once they were there, after like many years, it was only that they had been encouraged by other people, by managers or for people that want them to train as qualified probation officers, did they even consider doing a degree? Yes, there is plenty of time. If you have watched this channel before, you know that I'm a psychology and criminology tutor. I have tutored many adult learners that have come from corporate careers, healthcare backgrounds, or have just come from not having a degree, and they have retrained, done a new degree, done a degree for the first time in psychotherapy, counselling, psychology, criminology, because they have realised they actually want a career and they are ready to make that change. So it brings me back to my first point. If you're ready to make that change in your life, figure out how you're actually going to get there. And if you really want to be a probation officer, there are steps that you can take that you don't need the degree to be able to do that job. I wrote this for people like you who are feeling stuck in your mindset, you're not sure what you want to do with your life, you're feeling kind of comfortable but you know that you can do so much more, you've got that desire within you but you don't know exactly what to do with it. Vote this for people like you because I was in that same position. I was working as probation officer, everything was good, life was comfortable, had my children but I know I wanted more. There was this desire in me that I could do something next, do something bigger, help even more people. If that desire is in you but you're not really sure definitely have a read of this book you can get it on Amazon I'll leave all the links in there definitely you can be a probation officer if you haven't got a university degree so here is how first of all you can apply to be a PSO which is probation service officer that is basically very similar job as probation officer you're still seeing the offenders you still do all the assessments and paperwork but you just don't see the high-risk offenders so you'll be supervising those who have committed maybe like burglary, drug-related offences, assault, still violence, but not your kind of most serious one. The people that you'll be supervising have probably got unpaid work. They might have a drug treatment requirement. They might have a curfew, you know, drink driving, no insurance, serious offences, but they're not considered high-risk offences. So you'll be supervising them. You'll still be doing like OASIS reports. So those are the like, ongoing assessments that we do on offenders. You won't have to do court reports but you may have to do like a breach so if somebody fails to attend their appointments or is out of contact you have to bring it back to court and breach them. There is still paperwork involved and the face-to-face -face stuff. That is a really good way in if you haven't got the degree. Once you're in there you are normally encouraged to actually do the probation officer training so once you're there, you can do the longer route to actually qualify as a probation officer. Yes, it takes longer. Actually, you're getting experience as you work and there's really no rush. Definitely, if you're wondering, can you actually do that? Yes, 100% you can. Another way in to kind of just test if you actually want to do the job is become a unpaid work supervisor. So I done this when I first started out. Become an approved premises residential worker so they are the like probation hostels that they need staff you know it's a 24-hour place they always need staff and you can become a mentor so they are like three like face-to-face -face kind of roles that you can do to see if you actually want to follow through with the whole thing or before you even want to consider doing a degree there is this book 
called, the book is called The Who, Not The How. I haven't read it, but I've listened to a podcast about it. It talks about instead of figuring out how you're gonna get there, figure out who do you need to help you get there? Who do you need to help you actually become a probation officer? Is it that you need to get more information? So if you do, you're in the right place because you're watching these videos. Is it that you need someone to help coach you on your mindset because you're in a stuck mindset where you're feeling comfortable you know you might be in quite an okay job where you're getting a decent salary your bills are paid your mortgage is paid but you're kind of just not feeling fulfilled there but you're staying stuck and you're staying where you are because it's comfortable what a coach can do is actually help you with your mindset move your foot move you forward to actually achieving your goal of where you want to be in the future instead of thinking how am i going to get there you know right now you may be thinking well it's miles in in the future there's so much stuff that i've got to do before that's going to overwhelm you paralyze you that you're actually not going to make any steps start thinking who do I need to help me? Do you need to keep watching videos like this? Do you need to do a bit more research? Do you need to get a coach? Do you need to get a tutor? Do you need to join some support groups and hear other people that have been in that place? Think really about what your goal is, what your mindset is, where your mindset is, and who is gonna actually help you get there. You can join My Criminology Circle, which is a Facebook group. It is free to join, obviously it's on Facebook, but I share stuff to be able to help people like you who may be stuck in their mindset, not sure what to do. You're facing that kind of overwhelm with decisions. You've got so much decisions, so much responsibility. Why shake up your life now? Join the, psychology, uh, the Criminology Circle. The link is in the description there for you. And if you are considering actually making a change then my book will definitely help you with that also think about this don't think so much in the future obviously like have your goal so if you're thinking if you're watching this now and you're like oh, actually i might want to follow the route the longer route and be a probation officer even though i haven't got a degree or you know you're on the fence considering whether to go to uni or not you're thinking right well that's three years and then I've got to do this, and then I've got to do that. Have your goal, like have your vision, and think about why are you doing this? For me, or for a lot of the students that I was tutoring, their vision was they're doing it for their family. They want to earn more money for their family. They want to have a good career, so they've got stability for their family, that they're a good role model for their family. So think about why you're actually doing this. If you don't know your why, then it's gonna be difficult when things get hard along the way, or when you've got that indecision, it's going to be easy to just fall back to what's comfortable and be like, no, no, forget it, I'll just stay in my job. So think about why are you actually doing this?